we'll continue to work with the frequencies command for quantitative variables. To carry out the descriptive analysis for our quantitative variables, we again go to the descriptive statistics and frequencies. Here, we have two category, two quantitative variables in our data. Sometimes drawing the frequency tables for quantitative variables doesn't present a really good summary because quantitative for quantitative variables when we perform descriptive statistics our purpose is to get a good summary of the data that can help us describe our data but as as a researcher i would always love to construct the frequency table of quantitative variable at least once not for the reporting purpose but to see that how the values are distributed for each category, each specific observation in our quantitative variable. Or if there is any anomaly present in our quantitative variable. For quantitative variable, we will go to the statistics and we know that there are different kind of statistics that we could perform. We also understand from our, our previous knowledge that mean is not the best measure of central tendency in all the situation. Same goes with the median mod. Similarly, standard deviation or variance are not the best measures in all the situations. Because it all depends upon if the data is skewed or not. Moreover, it also depends upon the nature of the variable. But for now on, since we want to calculate all the statistics, we like to click on all the options which are available to us and to see what these values will be given, will, will give us. Quartiles will only give us Q1, Q2, Q3. And cut points for 10 equal parts will only give us deciles. But if we want to get the specific percentile, we can give the values right here. Right now, I'm not going to calculate those, so I'll just simply continue with it. In the charts, bar chart is not a good chart to represent a quantitative variable. Same goes with the pie chart. But histogram is. And when we draw the histogram, it's always good to show the normal curve on the histogram that help us to show that how what the shape of our data look like press continue and press ok as we perform this analysis on the frequencies command it shows us the few statistic of our data first the statistics we obtained are the numbers which are valid so there are 43 valid observations in our data None is missing. The mean age in years is 50.98 years. Whereas time of last visit in months is average 10.42 months. They're all given along with their standard error of mean. Median is 52, which shows that 50% 50, 50 of the individuals in our study have their age 52 or less years. Similarly, 50% having median equals to 12 means that 50% of the individuals have their time of last visit in months is 12 or below. Then we have the mod 58 and 12. So 58 is the most, uh, most repeated observation in our data. And 12 is the most repeated observation for time of last visit in months. We are given the standard deviations, which shows us that on average, from the mean, the values are dispersed by 16.424 points in age. And for the time of visit, last visit in months, the, the, on average, the values from the mean dispersed by 2.913 months. Variance is simply the square of it, which is given. 
we are given the coefficient of skewness. Since the coefficient of skewness shows the negative values, which shows the data is the age in the year is negatively skewed as well as time of last visit in months is also negatively skewed. The kurtosis are negative, which shows that our data for age is mesocurtic, whereas for time of last visit in months is 1.08, which is above zero, which is a positive value. Hence, it shows it is a leptocurtic data. Range is 53 for age and 10 for the last visit. Minimum age is 23 and maximum age is 27 and hence we have the percentiles. Since we clicked on the deciles only, so 10, 20 and quartiles, so 25 is the first quartile, 30, 40, 50 will give us, 50 here is the median. So 50th percentile or fifth decile are equal to the median. Hence 52 here and 52 here. Similarly, 12 here and 12 here. And here we have all the data. Next, the frequency table. But once we look at the frequency table, it's humongous. Its value ranges from 23 to 76, which doesn't really present a good summary. But it only shows that 58 is repeated four number of times. Hence, it is the only mod here in our data. Similarly, percentage, valid percentage, and cumulative percentages are given. And one can simply see here that 52, there's cumulative percentage of 51.2. Hence, it shows that 52 is a point that has 51.2% values below it. But if you look at the minimum age and the maximum age, so it sounds pretty normal. So this frequency table only help us to identify very few information. And right now it says, it seems like there's no anomaly in our data. So none of the observation is too extreme that could be identified here. Again, for the variable time of last visit in months, we could see it's two to 12. So which shows 12 month is the most repeated observation here, which make it 74.4% of the data. Whereas the rest of the observations are repeated just very few number of times, or some are even once. Look at the histogram. The histogram shows I mean, pretty close to symmetric, but as we have already looked at the coefficient of skewness up there, it shows a negative value. So which indicates that the coefficient, the, the, the shape of this distribution is negatively skewed. And same goes for the time of last visit in months. We have seen it, that it, it was negatively skewed where there's a huge bar for 12, which shows that 12 is repeated the maximum number of time where the rest of the observations are repeated very few number of times. So this is how we look at the descriptive stats for a quantitative variable in SPSS. Thank you.